Hello, hello, Ben here with another update from Mysterious Space. I realize it has been a very long time since I did an update. Uh, in fact, it had been so long, I didn't even know what the last one I did was about. So I uh, found my previous video on YouTube and, and skipped through it uh, trying my, my, to remind myself uh, what was done and therefore what to show off this time. And I think the big thing to show off this time is more enemies. More enemies and a couple new weapons. Um, let me just show you why I, I, I'm in debugging mode right now. I put myself into debugging mode so that I could give myself some new equipment. Um, so one thing I've done, I was I was kind of sad that I didn't have good references in in this game. Like um, I I, I met this uh, this uh, new person recently, uh, and and was talking about some of the games I've made, and particularly Psy Pets, which is a, a web game that I ran for a long time. Uh, and and one of the fun things I uh, about it, I guess for me, and and I think it was a better game than this is but it, it you know it had seven years to grow and this has had like i don't know let's say seven weeks you, you know much much shorter period of time uh however long it's been uh but but i just threw everything in that game if, if i read something crazy about you know norse mythology or celtic mythology or japanese mythology or native american mythology or whatever i would throw it in there and if i read crazy stuff about you know what people think is going to happen you know the singularity and, and futurists and, and all that i'd throw that stuff in there and if I read about some cool new food, I would throw it in there. And I don't, I can't do that in this game, or, or at least not right now. You know, maybe as the game develops, I'll, I'll find more places to sneak things in. Maybe I will have food in this game in the future, and then I can put in whatever Indian and Thai and weirder dishes that I can think of. Indian and Thai are not weird to me, but I realize that for some people they are weird. Um, for me, like, southern food is weird, and I've actually recently been cooking southern dishes that... Uh, I, I, I don't know, I like I live in Virginia, I probably should have been exposed to it more. Um, but anyway, so, point is, I haven't had a lot of a lot of room to, to put neat references in here. And then while listening to music today, uh, it was the Around the World and Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger mix uh, came up on, on Pandora, where, where I listen to a lot of music. Um, and I was like, harder, better, faster, stronger, those are all delightful adjectives to, uh, to add, you know, I, I can put those in there, that's something. So here is a super cool stronger disruptor. Uh, you can find all the words, you, you obviously won't find all of them in one gun, uh, but they are arranged so that you would only find a harder, better, or faster, stronger, like they're in that order always. So you might find like a harder, stronger, or a faster, uh, let's see, harder, better, faster, you could find faster, better as well. Get what I'm saying? Doesn't matter. So stronger guns, uh, their bullets go through walls. So th there's a new effect there. And um, better guns have a knockback effect. And I, and I didn't happen to generate a better gun uh, while doing this. Um, but but anyway, so you'll just have to believe me, and, and maybe you'll find one when you play. Um, and then faster just makes faster bullets, and harder just makes them hit a little harder. Uh, th those words are not particularly exciting. Uh, but they're in different slots than before, and, like, you know, harder makes things a little, makes bullets a little stronger, but so does heavy. Uh, and, and you can see heavy is kind of a second prefix, whereas harder is a, is a first prefix. There's two prefix slots, and, and the things can't, can't be mixed up. So even though harder and heavy do the same thing they go in different slots and you can have both of them so so you could have an even even more powerful gun all these things are, are limited by the level of the weapon uh which is determined by how deep you are in in the sector um so it's not like you're going to find more powerful weapons than before but uh you could find in total you know whereas previously maybe it just couldn't make a, a gun with more damage so it went for speed instead now maybe you can get even more damage w without getting the speed bonus or something like that am i making sense i don't know the point is there are many more you know anytime i add one word it's a multiplying effect on the on the total number of combinations so that's kind of a great thing about this sort of system you know every time i add a word i can be like now I now there's a million different weapons you know technically there, I don't know how many there are right now I'd have to count the math is really simple it's just you know how many prefix ones times how many prefix twos times how many nouns times how many suffixes and and that's the total number of weapons that are possible in the game uh, and then it's probably actually a little more complicated than that because some things are mutually exclusive uh, like um, doo -doo -doo. stronger for example gives a bullet effect and once there's a bullet effect on a weapon any other, uh, you know, piece that would add a bullet effect isn't isn't allowed. Like I, I don't have currently. There's no way to have a bullet that is both fragmenting and bouncy, for example, which is really sad because it'd be amazing. Um, and so, so that possibility just doesn't exist. I might, I might, you know, improve the system later to allow that. 
but some things would still be mutually exclusive, like bouncing off walls and going through walls. Obviously, that would be ridiculous. Like, we, we, it's impossible. So, so anyway, uh, the point is lots of, of weapon combinations, and I was happy to be able to, to put in some kind of reference, and maybe people will notice, or maybe they won't. You're probably noticing, that's clever. It's full of clever people, and you guys are clever people. So anyway, the other thing that I was mentioning in the very beginning is there are now uh, new types of enemies, and I'm going to play, because that's far more interesting, I'm sure, than listening to me ramble for however long it has been. Is there a timer somewhere? There doesn't seem to be. Uh, you can see I have an angry shield equipped. That's why I'm just throwing these little bullets all over the place at random. Uh, it's an angry shield. Um, all right, so here's a guy who's... Shoots EMP. Now, I don't know if that was true before. All right, let's pause. Let's pause with him. Okay, so this guy here is new. Um, but he looks very similar, right? So what I've started to do is make upgraded versions of the same uh, enemies that, that we always had. Uh, so there was the four-way Fomalhat, I believe. It's the name of a star. I don't know which star that is. I should find out. That would be fun. Like, I've named all these enemies after stars, but I, I'm not even familiar with half of the stars. Like, if I got a Betelgeuse... Okay, I can find that. That's on Orion, but that's like the only thing I'd probably reliably find. Uh, which is embarrassing. I took astronomy. Anyway, so uh, this is still four-way Um, but he's he's been upgraded. He's got little red bits and spiky angles. So um, basically, they, they behave very similar because I didn't... The, the idea was to, to make the enemies upgraded and behave in a way where you are familiar with them, but now they've got a little twist, a little something new. So in this guy's case... Uh, he now moves like before. He'll, he'll dash to a location. I think he's a little faster than before. I don't remember in his moving. Um, he does move to positions a little closer to you, so, which is a little more dangerous um, than the previous four-way Fomalhaut. But also, once he stops the point, he shoots twice, and we can we can see the two bullets on the bottom here. Uh, he's he's taken two shots while stationary, whereas the other one only only did one. And then and then he'll move on. Um, so you know we can watch that while he moved on a wall. But let's try that again. One, two. So he's very similar. He can take more damage and his weapon is stronger. Um, we can also see we just I just shot a guy through the wall with this. You, you can see the bullets are pointing with my finger. Uh, the bullets going through the wall there. So that's the harder weapon shooting. Uh, whereas the other ones are bouncy, rubberized, uh, <laughs> which is a um, the what I discovered actually through, through play testing the gun that goes through walls is like this. If we shoot a guy who's inside a wall, and he drops a goodie, we, we might not be able to get that goodie. I accidentally killed a guy I didn't want to. Um, so there was another uh, new upgraded guy who appeared. Oh, God, those EMP weapons are pretty nice and well. um, Also, this is a little harder because I don't have uh, better armor. Is my debugging mode going to better armor? I don't know what those guys are doing right now. Um... Goodness, where was I? Okay, so, yeah, you can kill a guy with the bullets to go through walls, a guy who's inside of a wall, and if he drops a goodie, now you can't get the goodie, which is really mean. So I don't know if that's a... I guess that means that bullets that go through walls are a double-edged sword. I want to, like, just delete all this stuff so I can make sure to show off the weapon. Um, yeah, going through walls. That's good and it's bad. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should have used an artifact that replenishes my armor. That's okay. We'll just try not to die. Um... Those bombing guys do a lot of damage. You know, like bombs, although that's always been true. I'm working on the upgraded uh, bombing guy. Cat get in my face. Hello, kitten. Um, <laughs> I'm working on upgraded bombers. I haven't finished them yet. I think what I'm going to do is uh, the main way they'll be different in addition to... Sorry, I had to pause so I can talk at the same... <laughs> I can't talk and play at the same time. Um, is they'll shoot bullets off to their sides. Because uh, the, the main tactic that, that I use, at least, for getting around them... I mean, primarily because, you know, your weapons shoot left and right, and they're shoot down. So you try to get to the side of them where they can't hurt you, which is good. Because when you first encounter them, you're like, oh, my God, they're raining death from above. And so then you have to spend, you know, then you're like, okay, this, I have to get above them and, and shoot them from the sides. Uh, but, but I'm safe otherwise. You know, once I get to the side, I'm safe. So I'm going to give them uh, bullets that shoot in both directions. They'll be equipped with a, a bi-die blast or bi-directional uh, weapons, just like you can pick up in addition to their bomber. So... You know, what was previously 100% safe, you know, oh, I'm at the side of them, now I've neutralized the threat, now that now it's not neutralized, so that's going to be the upgrade for them. And then, as usual, I'll, I'll give them a little more armor, uh, you know, usual for these upgraded types of dudes. And I haven't thought about, uh, for those swarms, the little black dot dudes who swarm like mad, uh, what will they be like upgraded? You know, what will this guy that I just shot in the wall be like upgraded? 
I don't know. For the bugs, I'm not going to make them upgraded. I'm just making it so that the swarms are larger. So as you go on, and, and that happens kind of gradually. So whereas the, uh, you know, the four-way Fommel Hot, it just completely re replaces him. Like, he, he's a fixed strength as you go through the levels. Four-way Fommel Hot, four-way Fommel Hot, four-way Fommel Hot. I didn't realize that was a tongue twister until just now. Um, and then all of a sudden, I think on the fifth or sixth sector, he's replaced by the stronger version. So it's it's this discrete you know, kind of change of, of four-way Fommel Hot to four-way Fommel Hot Mark II, or whatever you want to call him. Um, second tier, as, as I named my, my ship here. Um, so, in, by contrast, these, um, um, yeah, hi, kitten. The bug creatures, they just kind of gradually, as you go from sector to sector, and I think it's like every two sectors or something, the, the possible number that might come in, in at once on the screen is increased by one. So, so it's a gradual increase in difficulty for those guys. And I might go that route for other enemies. Um, and, and in fact, previously, all of the enemies kind of just scaled as the level went, so the same guy just got stronger. Um, and I, I kind of didn't like that for two reasons. One, it was kind of... Uh, I guess the first thing is I want you to know when you see an enemy, this is the guy. Like, I know what he does. I know that his bullets are, you know, X amount of damage to me and, and all that sort of thing. I know how he behaves. Um, and, and when they're slowly changing, that's not true. Like, you hit a guy and he's like, oh, this one deals more damage to me than I thought, whereas the, the previous guy just goes random numbers, and it was piecing them together, you know, much like it pieces together these weapons. Um, in fact, it was exactly like, I mean, they're just equipped with a quad blaster and would make up a random quad blaster. So you might find one guy who, who dealt you more damage, and then another guy who has faster bullets, and you wouldn't know until, until they shot and, and hit you or something. So that didn't seem very good. Uh, the other thing that didn't seem very good about it is that it... I felt like it, it doesn't feel very good when you get, like, a cool weapon. You're like, yeah, I got a cool weapon. And then all that means is that you've kept up with the enemies. You know, you're like, oh, you know, maybe you've even noticed, like, oh, man, these four-way Fommel Hots are getting harder. Okay, now I got a weapon, so now I'm on par with them again. I feel like it's it, it feels a little better where you're getting strong. And you're like, yeah, I just trashed those four-way Fommel Hots now. You know, I mean, it's a clear indication that you've grown. You, you don't even care about them. And, but then they get replaced by something else, and then, whoa, new threat, right? So I think that's a, a little more of an interesting way to do it. Um, so so, so that's th those have been kind of the motivations for, for doing this push where I'm replacing um, the... You know, rather than having them just sort of smooth, smooth increase in, in power as you go, keeping them the same so that you can have this definite period where, where you get better than them, yeah, you've triumphed, but then, oh no, a new challenge, and, and, and that's a more exciting thing. And in fact, saying it like that, I remember now, I've seen the charts, um, there, there's a, a sort of ideal uh, gradient that you do, and I, man, now I want to draw it or show it to you, but as someone's skill increases, it is found that people do have more fun when it is, it goes back and forth. It's not the consi consistently difficult, but when there are moments where you're like, yeah, I got better, and then, oh no, a new challenge. Like, people know that that is more engaging uh, to do in games. And, and I should have, you know, I, I only just realized that connection now. Um, game design. Game design is hard. Uh, <laughs> and maybe more so because I don't have a formal training, uh, but I do try and keep up with stuff. So here is this guy. This is a replacement you can, if you've seen previous videos or, or played, uh, he moves in the same, in a similar way to, uh, that's not Syrah, what's the name of this guy? Anyway, um, he's a bigger, badder version of the guy who you shoot and he explodes, and he explodes in a different sort of way. You can see there's kind of two waves of bullets uh, that are stacked. Um, I, I, at first, this is going to make more bullets, but I thought the stacking was... Uh, a little more interesting. It, it, you know, makes you need to dodge. You're like, whoa, we've been back and forth. Um, so, and as I said, there was a friend of mine who suggested I do that, and I don't remember who it was. I don't know. Man, I hope their names are my friends. I'm sure they are, because I've been showing the game to the same people, and they asked me, have you been working on Mysterious Space? Um, so yeah, so anyway, a, a friend suggested the different uh, wave thing, or different, uh, it was staggered effect there, and yeah, I really like that. Uh, so I think those are the only two that really have received the change. I mean, as I mentioned, these guys are just getting um, those waves of bugs you just saw. They just get to be bigger waves, but the bugs individually are the same strength. Um, 
I don't remember if before this guy's shots were always slowing. His his hits don't damage me, but you can see when I get hit, I move very slow, and you can shoot very slowly. He's got EMP weapons always. Um, and actually, so speaking of EMP weapons, and I don't believe I have one, but maybe I can finish... Whoa. Uh, finish this level. Let's see. Um, and find an EMP weapon. But EMP weapons now disable force fields. Um... Permanently, so if you find a force field and you shoot it either while it's on or one of those two endpoints, and let me find another one so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, da -da -da -da, I'm finding lots of items. Anything that will heal me, because I want to die. Shields, armor, sweet. Anything for my hole? No. Stop it, stop it. Okay. <laughs> destroyed. Um, <laughs> I need to find the other piece of fuel and or force field. So, if you have an EMP weapon and you shoot either the, uh, you know, that end, that, oh, that was delightful. I didn't realize that could happen. So, no, I actually really like that. I'm not, quote, fixing, unquote, that. So, that this guy is shooting EMP weapons, and you saw he shot the force field with his EMP weapon, and the EMP, I'm so happy, that's, that's hilarious. Um, yeah, and it disables a force field. So either it hits the, um, where's my mouse cursor? Either it hits an endpoint or it hits the, the middle while it's on, and the whole force field gets disabled. And I actually had to change a little about uh, how force fields are, are stored in the level. Uh, they were not stored in a way that made it easy to do this. Uh, so I just changed it. Um, so there you go. That's why save games end up incompatible between versions. Hi, kitten. I know. You'll be fed. Um... Yeah, uh, if only they could understand you. Uh, so yeah, uh, EMP weapons disable shields, and I don't have to or force fields, and I don't have to show you because the enemy showed me f for me, uh, showed you for me. I don't know. That's fantastic. I really like that. And now I'm like, oh my god, are there other possibilities where you could trick enemies into doing things that you can't? That would be wonderful. Um, that's great. I really like that. Uh, yeah, I was, you know, I could think of that as being kind of a bug, but um, that's really cool. I mean, that, those are the sorts of places where emergent gameplay emerges, as it were. Kitten, uh, she knows she's not supposed to be on a thing, or maybe she doesn't. I don't know. It's hard to know what cats know. Uh, so anyway, I believe I have shown you all the things there are to show. Uh, the, the interesting thing, every the thing that I assume people want to know, when will there be a new version to download? I do not know the answer to that question. Uh, the weekend probably will be busy. It's been kind of a, a busy week. Um, and again, like I, I, I met someone and been, we've been watching stuff and I've been showing off video games because that's what I do. By the way, if you've never played Gone Home, it is amazing. Play Gone Home. Uh, that's now just the game I have to show everyone, both because I feel like everyone should play it and because it's so fun to watch and see people discover things. I don't know. It's really fun. I, I love people watching people play games. It's great. Um... Anyway, so, yeah, Play Gone Home, and when will this the, the version out? So, right, <laughs> the new version, I would like to say this weekend, I know that this weekend is going to be a little busy, that, like, the people I've normally been hanging out with, I, I haven't been hanging out with during the week, and so now I feel like I, I, I need slash want to hang out with them. Uh, and then my dad is visiting from out of town, he lives in another state entirely, and he'll happen to be here for a, you know, from a business trip. So, so the week is just looking a little, a little busier than usual. Um, which makes me hesitate to, to make an estimate about when there would be a release. Um, but I'm going to say, I'm going to say early next week. It's possible I'll find a time on the weekend. One of my friends, uh, a different friend entirely recently moved and, and I'd like to check out the new place. Um, and, and, I, and I'm sure they'd like to show it off. Uh, so I, there's, there's a lot to do. No firm plan. So, anyway, yeah, when will I have an update? I don't know. I will, of course, post when there is one on all the places that I post. Uh, you know, HIO, NDDB, on this YouTube channel, on my Facebook, whatever. Not that most people... Uh, I, I still have no idea about how many people are watching the game. Um, but I'm done rambling. I've rambled quite enough, as I always do. Thank you again for watching. And, uh, yeah, goodbye, and have fun. Have fun playing games. Have fun playing my game, and have fun playing other games. Yeah, go play, go play Gone Home. It's a super great game. It's a super great game. It's better than this. It's better than my game. I have to say that. It's better than my, because my, this game isn't, isn't that much yet. It's getting there. 
but but there are better games and gone home is one of them uh <laughs> thank you for watching